On today's show, we are going to highlight what's going on around Lake Tahoe tonight, including the search for the next Go-Go Dancer at Oval Ultra Lounge. Plus, Adria's back on the show with us. Hi! All the way from Idaho. <laughs> oh, that was like a... I think I had a hoe caught in me. <laughs> a what? A hoagie? You got a hoagie stuck in your throat? <laughs> I can't even... Anyway, we'll clear the hoe out of Adria's throat, and we'll carry on talking about concerts, entertainment, and so much more. Wake up, Tahoe starts there she now. Goes. <laughs> Coming to you from the 12th floor of the Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa on the beautiful south shore of Lake Tahoe, this is Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Murin. Wake Up Tahoe is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Amirin Wednesday Hump Day. Adra's back. I'm back. Whew. I know. Everybody, <laughs> be still. I know it was hard for the you to do The show can come back to what it was. <laughs> Jack and I were holding up by the skin of our teeth. I wasn't going to come back. Our whole production was crew was like looking back. around like, what are we supposed to do? No one's yelling at us. <laughs> But now Adra's back, and she's cracking the whip. How was your trip? <laughs> it was awesome. I didn't want to come back. You wouldn't want to come back? What do you mean you didn't want to come back? I was having so much fun, and everyone was offering me all these jobs, and they said, just stay, don't go back to Tahoe. And you ended up coming back anyway. So what well, attracted you back to Tahoe? My stuff. Oh, we could have FedExed <laughs> it to you. Okay. Put it in the boxes. <laughs> all of a sudden, a pod shows up. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Good time, though, huh? Tell us what you did. I went to Massive Music Festival. I actually went up to Boise first, and we got everything rallied, and then went to Sun Valley, Ketchum and Haley. I did a parade in Haley for the 4th of July. Um, I did all the backstage media and such with my iPhone on a tripod. I'll tell you what, the best iPhone footage you'll ever see is coming from this girl. I'm just, I mean, iPhone is going to give me... Some sort of sponsorship at some point, I can tell. Well, if anybody could shoot quality footage with an iPhone, it's Adra, as she does on a daily basis <laughs> around here. Everyone me. I had this one gentleman come up to me the last night as I'm filming uh, grammatics, and it was amazing. I've got some pieces to put out there. I have ones already out on the Sibs crew uh, YouTube. And as I'm filming it, this guy comes up. He goes, I've been watching you all weekend long. No one rocks an iPhone on a tripod like you. I, like, dance with it. I like get it up and I angle and it's just fun and exciting. I love it. I love we'll it. See. Drop the beat and I'm on the crowd the and they're beat. all like whoop whoop and I'm like whoop whoop with the thing. It's awesome. What was one of those concerts? Whoop, whoop. Oh, it, I I have brought the feeling and the excitement and the energy of that through in my footage and you'll get to see it. Okay. Yeah, it'll probably be going to the Sibs Crew YouTube and then it'll be going to adrafinstermaker.blogspot.com. There you have it. Massive music festival in the books. Good turnout though. It was awesome. Mm, good. I had yeah, a great time. Good. Didn't want to come back. No, I'm just joking, just joking. But I would like to see something like that here. Mm, you will. Snow globe. Like five times the size of that. No, <laughs> actually, this was pretty huge. Snow globe is going to be coming back once again, approved finally by the South Shore. Jack over there going, yes! <laughs> all the top names, uh, my, all the uh, big, huge names. They are announcing them all daily, and it's like... Wow, even bands that I've heard. This year, instead of one igloo guys. down by the water, there'll be like a whole there'll bunch a of whole... igloos, like those kids built. Yes. They're all in snow caves. <laughs> yes. Why stay in a hotel when you can stay in a snow cave during it snow? It was awesome, snow man. It was awesome. Oh, no kidding. I was there. I helped him build it. Hey, it's Wednesday here in Lake Tahoe, so it is Wednesday night. Stand up paddle series. The wind right now whipping a little bit. Kind of got a little bit of a chop on the water. Probably around 10 to 12 miles an hour, but that should all calm down tonight as the racers take to the water again week seven. How many do you think? How many do you I'm think? I'm going to say 52. 52? What are you saying? I'm saying... 33. 33? Andrew, are you going to be one of the 3,300? Not tonight. <laughs> Little uh, local news around the Lake Tahoe area, in case you like to keep up on the local news. This is interesting stuff. Um, a van thefts in South Lake Tahoe are up. Car thefts, mostly vans. I wonder why. Um, because someone's trying to move to Idaho and they need a place to put their stuff. All right, we'll I'm get you one. Joking. Vandalized or broken into South Tahoe Police Department say the lack uh, lock your cars, remove the valuables, and most especially take out the keys. Yeah, and I wrote in there you should report anything suspicious. That was my addition. <laughs> That's something it. that could happen on a daily basis here. You'd be kindly walking around reporting suspicious behavior. I'd be like, um, like there's this white van owned by um, yeah. <laughs> Dillionaire. And like 10 feet down. <laughs> Down the road, there's another suspicious behavior.
behavior, and then across the street, it's like there's so. Apparently, something. we have suspicious, 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 that, that, suspicious yeah. people here. Yeah. <laughs> and the most important news is, uh, with a crowd of a thousand or more and widespread alcohol consumption over the Fourth of July, South Shore Ski Too Beach was the site of several incidences over the weekend. One leading yeah. to the police police brutality of a local. Uh, unfortunately, there was a fight started, and then the victim got more victimized by the U.S. Forest Service law enforcement agency. So uh, I would like to know who these people are. Like, are they imagine? friends of ours? That's what I'm wondering. Can you like, imagine who is it? Getting in a fight, and then you're all bloody and beat up, and then all of a sudden you're, like, getting up, and all of a sudden the, uh, the U.S. Forest Service jumps on. That's a normal like, Friday boom! for me. I don't know what you're talking about. That's a normal day in my life. Locking I get up. beat up, bloody, all at all the time. You do? Quit. Well, you usually are the ones like, bam, 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 quit yelling at me. Actually, our production crew is letting her... <laughs> Tetri- petrified of Vedra this morning. Um, uh, so look forward to ver- um, frequent alcohol bans next year on the 4th of July. Uh, rumor has it that the Forest Service has been stripped of their law enforcement capacities due to the incident. And uh, it seems to all to have evolved around a stripper pole. On the pontoon boat. All the good stuff happens around a stripper pole. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I think that for a lot of people, yes. Oh. I've never had anything good around a stripper pole happen for me yet. You ever been yet. tased, shackled, tackled, and tased before on a stripper pole? Oh, well, that was for personal. Okay. Sorry. That was totally Not going to go into it. I don't uh, tase and tell. You don't tase and tell. There you go. I don't tase and tell. That was all uh, appreciative. Uh, cash only band tonight, Cabo Wabo. That's Wednesday night. Cash only. They're going to be playing there again. That starts at 9.30 p.m. over there. That was a happening spot on Sundays. It's kind of like the spot everybody goes to on Sunday afternoons or Sunday nights. So Cabo Wabo tonight. Yeah. Adra is back, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! It's been a long week. I've had to come up with my own notes, make my own shows. It got kind of got scary. Yeah, but I heard that you were doing fabulous. Your tweets were amazing. Your social media was going fine. So I said, I'm not even coming back. Like, what's the point? Well, we had a fill-in, Adra. We huh? put we put a red wig on Taylor, <laughs> and Taylor was running around acting like Adra. So Taylor, that, uh, yes, Taylor. That's her name. The new production girl. Oh, yes. hi, Taylor. Uh, Abracadabra Saturday <laughs> Night South Showroom Harrison Harvey's. We're gonna talk more about all the entertainment and. Of course, more about Adro when we come back. Hey, I'm Connor Davis with Black and Delight. And I have a new product on the market. It's called Flash Black, and it's an electrolyte enhanced uh, bamboo detox drink. And it works great uh, for hangovers. And if you just want to do a normal cleanse, you can. And then I also have um, straight carbonized bamboo, which I'm calling Pure Black, and it works as a great daily detox. How do I order in the baby? Um, we, I have lots of information on our website, blacktolife.com, and I am selling exclusively through Amazon right now. We're seeing this in health food stores across the nation soon, and if you would like to get involved, I'm sure there will be a Kickstarter coming in. Thank yep. you so much. Thank you. For the song, Black to Life, Black <laughs> to the Detox. Good morning, your weather today being brought to you by Getaway Reno Tahoe. Wednesday through Friday this week, low 80s with mostly sunny skies. And then we're going to be looking at sunny skies all weekend long. You're going to have great picnic weather, 80 to 82 degrees on average through Monday. And it looks like it's going to be great time to come up and enjoy the mountains here. This physical brutality brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service. <laughs> I need a gun. <laughs> Responsible for <laughs> victim beatings everywhere around the Tahoe. Keeping the beaches beaten for two years in a row now. <laughs> you know, you put up a stripper pole. They have it each and every year. Last I, year they got yeah. rid of it. There was an incident. They bring the stripper pole back this year. Yeah. There's another incident. Now the Forest Service you is know, in trouble. That stripper pole, though, and I know that one of our guests said that was their friend's stripper yes. pole. Yes. But I've been going to Ski Beach for... Many, many 4th of July's here, boating up and getting in there in the morning and um, getting your spot. Because you have to get there super early to put your anchor out. Otherwise, your your spot's going to be taken. And all of a sudden, we'll be laying there and jello shots to the wind and just having a good time. Volleyball, right by the volleyballs. Here comes the black pontoon with the stripper pole. And I'm just like, what? Speakers, DJs. I mean, they're going for it. And you think, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I want to get on it. And then you look and it's like a 12-year-old running from the beach like, stripper pole. And all her friends are like, I'm with you. They think it's exercise. Well, that's because we've been telling everyone it's great exercise, (laughs) upper body strength, good for your core. I think I'm going to start stripping. Okay. I'll be your agent. Adra. (laughs) 
Go Back ahead. on the show tonight, speaking of stripping, there will be no stripping. Opal Ultra Lounge is where it's going to be. Go the go search dancing. for the next Opal Go Go is underway, week two. Drew's ten very week. excited. It's his favorite highlight of the week, other than his mail review. Yes. It's kind of like the opposite. And the rest of the time when he's dancing with go-go dancers as well at Boogie Night. That's just kind of how it works in my life. But tonight we will be searching for the next go-go dancer. We had Christina Wiseman on the show yesterday. She's fabulous. Mm -hmm. She knows how to go-go. I'm the most dressed woman in Drew's life. I wear the most clothes. That is not true. It's true. Look at me. I'm dressed. Anyways, tonight, <laughs> Go Go Dancing competition kicks off at midnight if you want to participate. We'll see you there around then. Sign up. We had 12 girls last time. We're looking for more this time. You can win $100 plus all kinds of stardom and fame. And then you go into the finals August 28th is when it'll is be there like, um, for $1,000. Is there a cr criteria like you have to fit into this particular suit? No. Or can like you fit, does the suit have stretch? You just have to fit into the Go Go box area. <laughs> to the go-go box. I'm in. Yes. How much so, do you win? hundred bucks. Adria will be there tonight. There. Come on and root her on in the go-go dancing competition. Just bring $100 so I don't win and I'll just go off the stage. <laughs> <sighs> Adria, you're going to be fantastic. 6 to 7 p.m. Tahoe Wellness Got Community Center. One. Donations accepted. I'm working on this though. Cheryl from Acupuncture Pain Clinics for Easter Healing Practice. Tell me more about this. What's that? I'm sorry. I was too busy doing my fingers that I'm working on. This is my new move. That's a new move. It is. A, it's a very popular. No, I'm learning because go -go you start with one and then you bring it out, and I don't know how, but I'm gonna rock it soon. There's people that do this. Okay. Keep what going. Was the question keep again? doing whatever you're no, doing. No, what was the question no, again, Drew? You're, you're giving away your whole routine. No, I. Now all the other go-go dancers are gonna be like, I know what she's doing. I'm gonna top it. It's not popping. It's called a loose. Yeah. No animation. I'm gonna. Massive be an music festival, turning people crazy since last week. <laughs> Um, also, Himmel House, happy hour, 4 to 6 p.m. daily. I just talked to Josh the other day at the Himmel House. Okay. The Himmel House, located at the bottom of the Cow Lodge. Great little place. Different types of food and burgers Pre and... Pretzel sausages. Pretzel sausages, yeah. Being a German girl, love me some good Do sausage. some more of this. Do some more of this. Yeah, some more pretzel sausages. Pretzel Plus, sausage. they have a beer that goes in a boot, literally. It's like this big old glass yeah. boot. Fill it all the way to the top. Is it a Das Boot? I don't have a clue. Sehr gut, Das Boot. She speaks French. <laughs> I do. Good <laughs> shot. And also, mail review Saturday night. Get your tickets now, like Adra said, because that is actually a very popular show. It's super popular. Adra's Fritz wrote and sent her every single night. For which show again? Yes, you know which one it is. Is it this a Superman show? Superman show. Water temperature, though. Let's switch over to the lake. Okay, the water temperature is warming up. 70 degrees right now. That's... Warm. 70 degree water temperature. Let's go jet skiing. It's almost warmer in the mornings to be in the water. A lot of people now bathing in Lake Tahoe. We would like to thank all That's the That's where I found transients. Drew earlier. I found Drew earlier out there. He was thinking, you know, he's getting ready for snow globe, so he's taking his one bath now so that when the snow comes, he can have another bath. Do you think I can grow my dreads out by snow globe? I'll, you know I'm what? Really, I think so. I'm, I'm trying to really get those working. I learned how to add yarn braids the other day into hair so that when you dance, it flies like this. I did it for someone at a campsite. It was amazing. Some of the greatest things you bring back. I know. Okay. I didn't bring back Jack's any over lights the back or going, I want those. Or I want special those. things. I didn't bring back anything contagious, though, that I know of. I got, I'm waiting for the results from the doctor. Don't, so. don't thank me. Thank penicillin. Penicillin. Uh, new Twitter thank followers. You. We've got a ton of them. We have. And that's not all of them. This is just Read the ones off. from last yeah, week that we haven't said. We did do good at social media, Jack. See this? we got like 100 new Twitter followers. No, you, those are, I haven't even put on here yet. Oh, really? The ones that you guys got okay. were mass amounts. Yeah, and mass. Were, I mean... Clogging massive. up the system. It was massive. You got SUP radio show, world SUP chat, hoodoo, honey, Tahoe trail bar, Tahoe bean counts, which, I, what are they? Not sure about that one. NV for Nevada never sleeps. Baskin Robbins, Nevada, who they said we could come in and have a frozen tweet. 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 Get it? Tweet. tweet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. Jessica Bales, Tahoe Mountain Sports. sports Jessica North. Beale? I wish, she's right? She's got Beals following us. She's oh, really great. So excited. Um, she's very beautiful. Tahoe Mountain Sports, NorCal20121, which I'm not sure exactly why. SNO underscore Kayla, um, LM McLean, Goltzy, and DJ Lucky Dice. Ah, that's my Who DJ I've name. DJ Lucky Beaver. He's been all around. That'd be a good name. That'd be a good DJ name, wouldn't it? DJ Lucky Beaver. Lucky Beaver. Lickety beaver. Ah, lickety beaver. Lickety Give beaver. Give me this back. Hey, lots coming up the show. Adrian's going to start cooking for us. What, I am. What are we cook. cooking today? Uh, well, that will be in two segments from now. Okay. So what are we going to cook today? We're making mayonnaise. <laughs> Get in the lab right <laughs> here on the show. Because I was talking to the Seaman Scott the other day, and huh? Seaman Scott told me, we were talking, we got onto the topic of um, Seaman Scott. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then I start talking about how in the Midwest they have the Miracle Whip sandwiches. I know, and they ask you when you get something, do you want Miracle Whip or do you want mayonnaise? And in Michigan, they always say, well, Miracle Whip, who eats mayonnaise? Who eats mayonnaise? But then any place else in the world, it's mayonnaise. But did you know that you can make your own mayonnaise and then you can gourmet it up so you can add it to different things? If you're catching your own tuna and you're making tuna sandwiches, you make... Anyway, go ahead. (laughs) I'm confused as to what the whole, like, is. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. (laughs) Drew doesn't eat mayonnaise. This is the only show you're ever going to see mayonnaise it's made It's really on. good because you can put it in your hair, you can add it to your skin, eggs, and those types of things are really, oil is really good for you. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and now I'm going to go heave. Drew's going to throw up because he just ate something. Whew. No, mayonnaise? <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. We're going to learn how to emulsify. Concerts for the weekend. Trying to make your weekend plans, we're going to do that for you on the next break. Keep it here. Wake Up Tahoe continues. I'm Megan with Getaway Reno Tahoe, and I'm here at McDuff's Pub, South Shore's only Scottish pub, and I hear they have some amazing food. Why don't you come join me and my friends? It smells amazing in here. I just have to take a peek into the kitchen. And no, I'm not being nosy. The cooks are the first thing you see when you walk through the doors. And I don't think there's a better way to get to know your food than to watch it being made. I'm sure my friends are tired of waiting for me, so I'll make my way up the stairs. I can see my friends were eager to get started. They even have an ice cold one waiting for me. The smells in this public house are making me so hungry. The recommendations are perfect. This is unlike any pub grub I've ever had. The mac and cheese with white truffle oil is a must taste. The homemade pizza must be made with a special sauce because it's awesome. And of course, there's always room for dessert. A chocolate option is always my first choice, but I was told that the good old bread pudding is to die for. Talk about fresh. If I were to catch a fish, I could even bring it in and they'd cook it for me. Between the tartan covered cushions and the full clan crested pints, I felt at home in the Scottish Highlands. So at home that at one point my friend and I were at the bar taking flying Scotsman shots waiting for kilts and bagpipes. My friends and I had such a great time here at McDuff's Scottish Pub. The food was amazing. The macaroni and cheese is by far my favorite. The service was top notch. I was so impressed. You definitely got to come check it out. Welcome back to the show. Adria back on set with you. You know, 22 so- signs you found your best friend just popped up on uh, the Daily Buzz. Can you only have one best friend? No, you can have multiple ones, but this Good. is just signs that you have a new best friend. Now, uh, okay. I'm not going to go through all 25 of them because it would take longer than we have. How here. do you Plus, divorce your best Adria's friend? Adria's medication will wear off. But um, despite being intelligent as individuals, you are truly ha- harebrained in collectivity, which... Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, your Snapchats to each other prove human face is capable of remarkably unflattering contortions. Oh, no. We I don't have show. a best friend because I don't have Snapchat. Well, you only have to have like a, like 50% of this. It's like trying to pass it. I was going to say, because Snapchat, I think, is... Mm. Uh, this is a good one. You Keep stop feeling myself. the need to wear pants around each other. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that could count. Mail review. Uh, you discuss the following things freely. Money, sex, religion, and family. Yeah, yep. never doubt in that one. Uh, you all hate you hate all the same people. No, you mm-hmm. don't have to hate each other. You should yeah, enjoy not each, each other. Diff- no. You hate all the same people. No, that's silly. Best friends shouldn't hate everybody the same. You keep each other updated on bodily functions. Like you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't in a while. <laughs> Adra, come on now. Just kids I just watching did. the show. Um, you can sense each other's emotional state over text messages. I don't. That's a good one. I don't know. Uh, you know each other's wardrobe inside and out. That's that's always important, and reserve the because most. Because you color- wear their wardrobe, <laughs> then you put it back inside out, <laughs> and you hang it up. Adra, let's keep my <laughs> personal life out of this. Uh, you literally owe each other money, but trust that the balance will always balance out over the years. And you start to make mentally collecting antidotes for your maid of honor best man speech. So. Mm. No? Not, no. Really, not really feeling that? None of my best friends oh, are this ever is always, This is a good one here. They like your Facebook updates, Instagrams, and tweets as soon as they go up. There uh, it is. 22 only, friends. Only some of my friends you found a best friend. You know, it's, it, you can always find a best friend for like a week, and then it kind of wears off the luster. It does. You're like, you know what? I'm just not really feeling it. Yeah. With you. Except with you. No. And Jack I'm d- and I... Taylor and Bobby and Frankie and, and Joe and... Uh uh-uh, uh, I divorced our... you already. You're gone. We're gone. Hey, uh, t- gone. <laughs> tonight, tomorrow night, Not actually, Harris South Showroom, they opened up a new concert series. We're going to give you something to do on a Thursday night. They're going to have cover bands appearing every Thursday night at the Harris South Showroom. Tomorrow night, Leonard Skinner, 
Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, ba, dum, Real bum, bum, Leonard Skinner? Bum, bum. Not coming back from the dead, but their cover band is going to be playing on Thursday nights. Plus, the best part is $12 gets you in the door, and they give you a drink toke with that $12. So you're basically getting wasted. I'm going to sell that dr drink toke, though. You There's can do no that. rule that you can't sell it, No, right? no, you can sell the drink toke, but For $12. Still, how cool is that? You get a ticket and a drink. Sounds like oh. perfect night out. Perfect night out. And Especially Leonard date. Skinner. Dun, 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 right? Yeah, and you can play the air guitar and all that good stuff. So that's if South anybody wants to take me out, just give me a call. Tweeter. We're gonna start a new. We're gonna start a new Facebook poll. What is for it? You. I don't know. What is it? The, we're gonna find the perfect guy for you. I don't need a guy. Submit your profile. No. Match.com no, no, to no, Adrian Fenstermaker. No, no, no. Cooking's coming up on the show Wednesday night. Sub series tonight. This weekend though, lots going on in and around the Lake Tahoe area. I have a whole list. From Getaway Reno Tahoe. Oh, Thank you, Megan. Drew doesn't know how to read, though. Lake Tahoe Shakespeare Festival at Sand Harbor State Park. You've been to that, haven't you? Nope. Been to the one on Valhalla? I will stretch the truth. Yes, it was amazing. It was amazing. Everyone has said it's a fabulous time. Okay. I think I drank too much. I don't remember. And Tough Mudder appearing at North Star Resort over on the North Shore. Tough Mudder. I won it. Sold out. I don't know if Adrian really won it or not. <laughs> I totally did. I was tough in the mud. Prove it. I will go get muddy. Okay. <laughs> then she'll be there at Tough Mudder. We got the Tough Mudder princess uh, going to be there. So Tough Mudder going to be happening this weekend as well. It's completely sold out, but very spectator friendly. I've always wanted just to show up and throw mud. You could just do that. Just roll around in the mud. And Illusion Fusion, Alex Ramon, he's been on the show before, appearing Thursday and Friday nights. Get your tickets now. The past two weeks have been completely sold out. Yeah, that's what he said. Ticketfly.com, like Alex only, Ramon, Illusion Fusion. The only tickets you can get um, the day of are the ones that if you show up at his little heavenly show. He's got like oh. one or two special tickets just for maybe you. And if you tweet us at the show here at Wake Up Tahoe, we might have a couple tickets. Where are you getting from? Might. <gasps> are you going to go make might. a seat? Might have a couple shows. If you want to see the B-52s, the cases of the Sunshine Band this weekend at the Outdoor I Lawn do. here, Mont Blue Resort, oh. Casino and Spa, our proud partner in Wake Up Tahoe. Getaway at Reno Tahoe has a great ticket giveaway going right now. Jump on their Facebook page, Facebook.com. Am I allowed to win? You can win. Thanks. This is not with us. Casey and the what? Sunshine Band, the Love Shack, coming to Lake Tahoe once again. Tin Roof. Frosted. There you go. I was waiting for Jackson. <laughs> uh, see? It's all, everybody knows them, so they'll be all here Sunday night, and then the after party will be in Boogie Nights immediately following. Casey Ooh. will be doing kind of an intimate little show. Wait, showing. Casey's going to Boogie? Well, we are trying to, but they're going to come in a little later. Because so I will go to the boogie if Casey's there. Like, a boogie, Iggy, till you can't boogie no more. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just made that up. Send it out. Gonna take another quick break. When we come back, we'll be cooking. We'll be... Do you really call it cooking, or are we going to call this, like, preparing? We're creating mayonnaise with eggs. For what the occasion? I don't know, but I'm excited. We're learning. They also call we it... We learn on they, this show, they, and I like teaching people things. They also call it aioli. It's a there. It's similar. French word aioli is similar to mayonnaise. Yes. <laughs> All right, break time. Adra's back, as you break. can tell. We'll take a quick break. break we'll it. come back. We'll be not preparing mayonnaise. I'm gonna break by myself then. Mayonnaise. Breaking. Mayonnaise. <laughs> with Getaway Reno Tahoe. We are at the grooviest place in Tahoe. One of the great clubs and new clubs in Tahoe. Boogie Nights right here in Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa. We've raided the thrift stores. I got all the boys in the room. And we're gonna check acts out like Michael Jackson, Tina Turner, Madonna, and more. We're going in. Come with us. Let me ask you this. Who doesn't like to dress up in costume? Decked out with the freshest 70s attire rated from a local thrift store and goldfish platform shoes, I walked into Boogie Nights and it was like walking back in time. Light up dance floor, disco balls, and the grooviest tunes from the 70s and 80s, things were just getting started. It was afros and bell bottoms everywhere I looked. The disco diva dancers were rocking it, and before I knew it, I was hula hooping with the Boogie Nights hula hooper, who should have an instructional video cassette coming out soon. What 70s and 80s party wouldn't be complete without a roller girl who also made her appearance on stage? Just when you think things couldn't get any groovier, a virgin Madonna made an appearance. Actually, I think it was Madonna singing like a virgin, and then like Deja Vu, out of a music video in the 80s, Michael Jackson rocked the stage with Thriller. Almost better than the original, in my opinion. At Boogie Nights, no one wants to go home.
Welcome back to the show. It is cooking time, and we're not cooking today. We are preparing. You never know when you're going to need a little mayonnaise, right? To cook with. Maybe you're having asparagus, an artichoke, um, a burger. Open. Who puts mayonnaise on their tuna? Tuna fish sandwich is oh, true. Oh, that tuna fish sandwich. So, you know what? You always have, you know, if you're like us, you go to the store about once every... Year. Year. we don't yeah, eat, year, we're year. trying to stay skinny. Year. We just buy diet pills. And <laughs> <laughs> live off water. <laughs> Again, another one of our secrets comes out. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We actually shrink the camera lens in to make us look skinnier. But you never know when you're going to run into a need for mayonnaise. Yes. And I didn't even know you could make this stuff. I thought it just appeared like propane. Just that, <laughs> suck it out of the that's, earth. No, that's... Mining for mayonnaise. That kind is not the best mayonnaise. If you want to impress people, make homemade mayonnaise. You can use it as a base for a lot of different sauces. You can add a lot of different flavors to it. Some people can make lemon um, types of mayonnaise. There's a whole different slew of them. This is going to be a small ingredient one um, usually you'll want to use oh you just got a text message um, <laughs> usually you'll want to let me get this <laughs> usually you want to use like a Dijon mustard but since we didn't have it because we don't go to the store very often and I tried stealing some from the deli and they caught me <laughs> in the little packets so we're just using yellow. We actually had to buy our own. <laughs> no, we we get all of our toilet paper from gas stations. <laughs> we do. We do. We get, honey, that's you get to the coffee shop. Okay, so pretty much the ingredients we're going to use today is going to be a mustard, salt. You can use pepper. I didn't find any where I was at. Some oil. Um, you can use different types of oils, you know, blends. Um, this is just vegetable oil because. We're fat and um, we don't have Speak any other. Speak for yourself, honey. <laughs> and then you want to use an acid as well. And some people can use, you can use the juice of a lemon. Um, this is actually just a white vinegar that we're going to use in it too. Straight out of the and battery. And then eggs. And you want them ever, all of your ingredients to be room temperature. So if you want to go ahead, Drew, and open those containers of the it's oil. It's acid, Adra. I don't know if I should be doing this. No, that's the oil. And then you want to have room temperature eggs. And so one of the best places while you're preparing is this is how we do it. So. I think we forgot one. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's a different one. That's, a, that's a, a different show. One. So what we're going to do, and um, everyone has a different way of opening their eggs. Um, we you are, obviously have a different way of storing their eggs. I just know how to bring not only eggs, but butter to temperature so you can make cookies. All right. So you only or use the egg eggs. yolk or the egg white? Well, you know, some... Of the recipes do call for you can use um, two egg yolks and one full egg. Some of them say just egg yolks. Um, honestly, it doesn't really matter. What you're looking for is more of a water, and the yolk has 50% water in it. Uh -huh. And so that's what's going to actually go with the oil and give it the texture of the mayo. It's called em an emulsion. Emulsifier. Emulsifier. So science is be um. backing cooking. Jack saying neither one of us know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, we don't, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, we're going to pretend like we do know what we're talking about. What we're talking about is that we're making mayonnaise today. And so you can save your egg whites to make meringue or anything else you want if you love to make like custards and stuff. Now, this little doodad was taken from the U.S. Forest Service. Instead of weapons and tasers, now they are well, carrying yeah, whisks. Well, yeah. That's all they're allowed to do. What they do is they put them into your dreads and they start twisting. <laughs> okay, so moving on. We have our, egg, actually, our eggs in here. Here, hold this again. No, that's not your full eggs. It's actually just the yolks. Just the yolks. The ox. And so before we add the oil, what we want to do is we're going to take and we're going to put just a little splash of our mustard into it. But and this is not, this is the wrong color. Mayonnaise is supposed to be white. Just wait, Drew. Okay. Here, pick this up so it doesn't make as much noise on the table for me, please. And so then this is the point where you'd want to take like a um, pepper or salt. And of course, recipes are guidelines. So just to taste or however much you want. And so go ahead and add a little bit of that to it. And then while Drew... How many servings is this? Uh, don't eat the whole thing, Drew. We're going to add a little bit of our acid, which is our... Um, white vinegar. White vinegar. You could also use the oh, lemon to give it a nice flavor. It's getting white. It's okay, so keep, 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 keep going. And add just a tiny bit more. You know, I'm, I'm feeling like, um, I'm feeling a barbecue coming on where I'm going to need this recipe, so I better pay attention. Well, you can use it for a pasta. Pasta? Like potato salad. Potato salad, deviled eggs. This is how you can make things that taste better and awesome. And so, Drew, I'm going to hand you this. And what I'm going to have you do is slowly, and this is the biggest part, besides being room temperature, the next biggest thing is if you don't do it right and it fails, you got to go slow. you got to go slow. Hey, Drew, we only got a 30-minute show. Stop, 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 stop. Well, we can speed this part up. <laughs> There's that. Keep going. Slowly, Drew. Whoa, big fella. Drew, slow, stop. 
There he is. There we go. Yelling at you, stepping away. Not going to work if you don't listen. We're making mayonnaise, not curdle. Today. You have to freeze it. Um, no, but if it is cold and you pull it out of your fridge, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually whisk it up a little bit again, let it go to uh, room temperature, and then whisk it up. Otherwise, it's going to kind of curdle. And then add some more. You know what? Maybe we should, like, you know, make mayonnaise Slowly. professionally. We are making mayonnaise. We can mayonnaise. market it. We're, We're professional. We can call it Tahoe A's. We're a professional broadcast. Tahoe A's. Didn't you know? It's actually I mean, getting whiter as we look. I know. And so actually you can do this in a blender. You can also use a hand mixer as well. The key is, is to have a partner help you if you're doing it with a whisk. You should always have a partner help you. You should always have a partner? Always. Okay, go ahead and add some more, Drew. And the nice thing about this is if you do, stop, stop. You're not whisking fast enough. If you do you add too fast. much oil too quickly, you can actually go and add any of the ingredients that you have added already, such as another yolk or whichever, to bring it back. And that will actually um, bring the, it's uh, like a chunky look. It'll bring it back to a smooth consistency. You can go That's ahead and add some more oil. You don't eat. Go ahead and add some more oil, Drew. Okay, Adra. Thanks, Drew. There You're you such go. a good friend. Back to you, Adra. <laughs> back to you, Drew. Maybe we need some more salt. All right, maybe you Mustard. can put a little pink in there. No, I'm thinking looking good. So this is like aioli. What's the difference between like aioli and mustard and mayonnaise? Um, one's called mustard, one calls mayonnaise, and okay. one's called aioli. Perfect. Good answer. Keep going. Because they put this on Eggs Benedict. That's a hollandaise sauce, but we can make that another day <laughs> if you'd like. And that is made with egg yolks. Very good, Drew. Okay, look. So we got... We did it. It's still a little bit of an off color. Maybe we need to put some, some dye in there. I don't think so. This is actually more of a true... Need more egg. Mayonnaise. No, what you need is to stir it up a little bit more, but taste it. <laughs> True. <laughs> I can't wait. There's 75 calories right there. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like mayonnaise. It does? Yeah. Good job. Anybody got an artichoke? I love artichokes. An artichoke. And so this is actually, if you want to impress people. There it is. People. If you want to impress people. If you want to impress that girlfriend of yours, bring her home, make her some mayonnaise, and then drizzle it all over her. <laughs> and then eat it up. It's good for your complexion, honey. All right. That's no, good No, then put it all over her hair, and she'll have nice, beautiful hair. The cats will love her. The kitties see me out. Anyway, the dog played with her. That's a good idea, actually. Adra, welcome back. That's, That's going to do it for Wake Up Tahoe <laughs> today. This. Mayonnaise, the recipe will be on our website at wakeuptahoe.com. No, probably not, but Drew will say it is. No, I'm going to bottle this up, and uh, maybe Mont Blue will use it on their next little <laughs> endeavor. I don't know. Look forward to the concert series this weekend. Hey, lots coming up on the show tomorrow. We have Rowena Pegg, the infamous She's Tahoe cool. event rentals. She That'll might be, be a show not to forget. She might be not to popping miss. a tent right here on the show, so we'll be looking forward to having her tomorrow. And much, much more. We're going to talk celebrity golf action tomorrow because celebrity golf comes into town next Wednesday. All the celebs will be in town. A good opportunity to kind of meet and greet with these people all around Harris and Harvey's. And Charles Barkley. Is he? Are you into him? No. You want to dribble a little mayonnaise on him? And no, I have a boyfriend. His name's Jamal. Skip him up like a pocket. Not so small, Jamal. Doesn't really care. Well, for that's going to do it. Leave Jamal <laughs> out of this. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. Wake up, Tahoe. See you tomorrow.